Welcome back. I'm Larry, and this is the third and final video in our three-part ND filter series called Neutral Territory. This time, we're pulling things together, and I'll tell you about a cool gadget discovery I made recently that makes the ND filter experience so much better. In the last video, I told you about variable neutral density filters. Once you screw them in place, you can just dial more or less density, of course, within the range of that particular filter. And I mentioned a light craft workshop filter that can be adjusted from 2 to 10 stops of light, as well as a Schneider TrueMatch VariND that has a range from 1.3 to 11 stops. Besides the simplicity of dialing in the ND value you want, there's an added bonus for pro videographers. These variable ND filters can be used for writing the iris. Here's what I mean. When a videographer is filming and the scene goes from relatively dim to bright, like moving from indoors to outdoors, manually dialing the aperture closed allows the overall video image to remain properly exposed. With cinema lenses that have smooth travel aperture rings, they can smoothly adjust the exposure with the aperture setting, but many modern DSLR lenses don't have that option. So a variable ND filter, which smoothly dials in more density with a little twisting of the ND filter, gives you another way to smoothly cut the light. Of course, that works in the other direction too, if you're going from bright outdoors to relatively dim indoors. Now two notes about this. First, this takes a lot of practice. I understand it. I know what to do. I can hold a camera. But even with a good shoulder rig, my smooth ND video dial skills are pretty weak. The other thing is the dreaded X effect and lens flare to one degree or another. Sometimes, depending on the position of the sun and the dialed in values of your ND filter, you can see a phantom X on the video, which is caused by the two polarizing foils being slightly out of alignment and causing vignetting on two sides of the image. This effect is more prominent with wide-angle lenses, and it can be corrected by dialing your filter's density back a little bit. And of course, lens flare is always a possibility because you have flat glass in a bright environment catching the sun. So far, I've only been talking about digital SLR cameras, but if you're shooting film rather than digital, there's a setting that you can't change on the fly, and that's your film speed. Once you pop in a roll of film, your ISO can't be changed, so shooting with ISO 800 film generally won't work well in bright outdoor conditions like it does indoors. As you've already guessed, an ND filter can knock down the light enough so that the ISO 800 film works just fine. By now, you understand ND filters. You know about the mount types in solid, graduated, or variable ND filters. So you understand this light control tool but to jumpstart your creativity, here are a few more cool creative things that you can do beyond that silky water I already talked about. Imagine shooting a downtown scene where you want to take a picture of an individual among dozens of pedestrians. Working with your subject and getting them to hold perfectly still for 15 to 30 seconds, if everyone else in your image is moving or walking, you can capture some sort of surreal image like this. Or maybe you want to shoot a building or a landscape where everything is in sharp focus, but the scattered clouds in the sky have a smeared appearance. Just shoot a long exposure that lets the clouds move a little bit while your building or landscape stands perfectly still. Another cool technique is something I learned from David Hobby on his Strobus blog a few years ago. You can use small flashes like speed lights outdoors in the sun. You open up your aperture to something like f1.4 or 2.8 to get that shallow depth of field. Now at that point, the problem is that your shutter speed has to be so fast that flash sync speeds, which are often limited to something like 1 250th of a second, won't work. Just install an ND filter and then boost your flash power until you get the image that you want with a shutter speed in the flash sync range. The best, most straightforward way to go about ND filter shooting is to set up the shot, add the filter, and calculate what adjusted shutter speed you should use. Then look at the image and the histogram and make your small adjustments. If your target shutter speed is in the range that it can be dialed in versus having to use the bulb setting, consider setting your camera to continuous capture and then turn on exposure bracketing. That way, you can just hold down the remote shutter release cable and your camera will click off three exposures, or five or whatever setting you've chosen, with your target settings, plus 
some additional exposures that are either over or underexposed for safety. In most cases, once you install an ND filter, your lens hood won't fit anymore. To minimize the chances of lens flare in bright sunny environments, hold your hand or a ball cap over the front face of the lens so it's in the shade during your shot. Here's an interesting heads up about ND filter quality. It's easy for manufacturers to knock down overall light, but keeping the colors balanced at neutral is tougher than you might think, especially when you're using something like a 10-stop filter. The more expensive ND filter manufacturers seem to have a thinner and more color accurate filter, and you need to see what works for the kind of shooting that you plan to do. A few years back, I even used a $6 piece of welder's mask glass, and it worked fine for black and white images, but it was so green that you could never use it for color images, and mounting it was a real challenge. It was a fun experiment that made me really appreciate actual ND filters even more. At a photography trade show recently, I met David Neiman, who invented Zoom filter adapters. These are super slim filter adapter rings. You screw one onto the face of your lens, and screw the other part onto your filter itself. Now, those two rings match up perfectly, and they instantly attach to one another magnetically. Zoom filter adapters have been around a few years, but still, most folks don't know about them, and I'd be willing to bet that some longtime shooters seeing these for the first time, even if they know everything else I've talked about in all three of these videos, think it was worth watching just to find out about these magnetic filter holders. This three-part series on ND filters was designed by Kelby One for the B&H YouTube channel so that people could learn more about ND filters and how to use them. But as somebody who regularly buys gear from B&H, let me tell you one more way to make sure that you get the right ND filters and adapters for your shooting setup. Ask questions. In store or on the phone, just talk to a B&H sales expert. Even though I've covered a lot about ND filter options and you may feel like you know what you want, if you have any doubts or any questions, give B&H a call and ask to speak to a specialist who can help with ND filters. These folks are gear experts and they'll make sure you get exactly what you need for your ND shooting setup. For B&H and Kelby One, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. We all know the difference a great teacher makes. They inspire you, challenge you, and push you to do the things you never thought you could. For creatives, that means you've got to know your tools inside and out whether it's Photoshop or photography, lighting or Lightroom, InDesign or After Effects. And while there are free videos out there, you have to watch 30 bad ones just to find a decent one. And a lot of times, the techniques are either outdated, complicated, or just plain wrong. What we need is a better way to learn, one that connects amazing teachers with creative people all over the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A thriving educational community with nothing but the most talented, engaging, and respected teachers in the industry. Then we simplify the whole learning process with short, clear, concise classes. That's exactly what we've created for you right here at Kelby One.